Some fucking nasty ass beer. Got shit in this fridge. That shit, fuck. I should probably get outside. Chilling. Just finished the job. This is oh. the reward. Got me a van. Where's this bitch? I don't know. Make way for mama. Yeah. Watch where you're going, lady. Get away from it, well, She says pardon her. I mean, damn, bro. Yeah. Right. Well. Whatever. Fuck it. Let's get out of here. Oh, we should. For the police going? come over. Yeah. No. Mm, we can go. I don't police, need this vehicle being coming. made. Uh huh. Police aren't even coming. They're not on their way. Well, I mean, what are we gonna do about the body, bro? Like, I got blood on my fucking van and everything. Like, I'll you just it. knocked her I'll, clean out. I'll deal with her in a minute. Just pull it up in the driveway. I'll clean it in a second. Alright. Oh, that's EMS. We should uh, well, probably hmm. step away from the body. <laughs> You're cool. Um. Uh, fuck it. Ugh, finish it while I'm here. Ugh. No one saw that. No one saw that. We should probably take a step behind the house. This van was always here. <laughs> oh, so there's an open part of this house, like right here? I never even noticed this. You live here and you don't know there's an open part of your house? How this do you is, not know what's out of your house, man? You, this you house sell drugs and shit? Like, you... you how? Okay, okay, how? hang on. First of all, I stopped selling drugs, like, last time you asked. And this house was oh. bought yesterday to keep the two idiots well, inside like, safe. you know, you don't know where you're living, bro. Like, you gotta know all your exits and shit. That's a fair point, but... Uh, say so come come back around here. Concerned the fact um, that I just found this. We could they, didn't, they couldn't resuscitate her, bro. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Not a problem. Alright. So. I know you haven't met the two inside, but. I think it was yesterday or the day before. Could have been longer than that. I picked it's up. Been a minute. I picked up my good friend, uh, Carlos. And one of his friends, uh, Seth. Mm. And so, I took him to a very disclosed spot. I told them, I told them our little story, how Grove Street was shot up and all that shit, mm. how we're hiding, doing all this extra shit. So, I do want to openly say that I'm not doing very good financially. And the situation we just got ourselves into is actually worse than I thought. Bro, and so cool. like I get it. We we don't got a way to make money, and I came up to you asking you for work. 
and now we're figuring it out. So what's up? What happened? Anything? You got a, you got a lead or something? So yesterday, it was actually fairly normal. Well, actually, that's kind of an understatement. We we. Hmm. Have you seen the news lately? No. You don't watch TV. That's a fair point. Well, the Vagos, the rebel gang that we're that we're up against at the moment. Is that the green or the red ones? There is no red ones. They're the they're the yellow. Oh well, that's what I meant. I'm colorblind. Come on, man. You know this. All right. Sorry. 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 So. So, the Vagos, we started their territory, we lit them all up, whole block, then we moved over to the next territory, we lit up Grove Street again, the entire the entire block there, then we went up to the next street, the family, and we went, we lit up their whole block too, we went to the bikers next to the casino, they weren't home there, so we went over next to uh actually went to stab stab city and we now own that land we took that place over so we got problems with all the gangs the bikers and most likely military soon and to add on top of that uh lupe lupe acna lupe acting a little suspicious but i mean i still trust him he's still, he's still pretty good <coughs> You said he's acting a little suspicious. What the fuck, man? Is it? Uh, you just laid out <coughs> like <coughs> the hardest f bomb that could have been let let out. Like, what the fuck are you gonna do? We're gonna have to take a pause on Lupe, and you're gonna have to take a focus on what the fuck is in front of you. What are you doing, man? In so, military too? Yeah, the the military was. A bit of an I mean, accident. I know, we, I know, I know. Funds are tight, but come on, man! I told you to stay away from guns unless you're going to be shooting them, bro. I mean, the military only get, only got involved when actually we were trying to we stopped firing at all the gangs and all that shit, and one of our pirate one of our tires popped, and so we almost got caught, but we lost them in the casino. After that, that's when we led to the bikers but I was identified Carlos was identified I don't think Seth was identified Lupe was also identified I'm pretty sure That's yeah because he, he jumped out of the car but so he got, he got taken no he, he didn't did. get taken he, he's out he's good oh, okay. he just he just got he just got profiled mm. and well, I mean dude walks around shirtless for a living he's he sus as fuck always, dude. Give me fifty degrees outside. He don't care. But even he'll just even ask then, somebody though. for a cigarette. What? Even then, though. Mm-hmm. Yesterday, he was supposed to be here. I have no idea where the fuck he is right now. But well, when I mean, maybe he's mourning his dumpster. Remember they shot that shit up last time. It's been a minute, bro. Where is he? He didn't have a place after that. Yeah, but my thing is though. When I found him, at the end of the day, when we were, when we were supposed to go back, go back to this place, because it was really, it was like hella late, and we didn't really, we didn't really want to drive back in the dark, because you know, this is a couple states over, and he said something along the lines of, he said, he said, I would stay, but I got, and then he paused. It was a business meeting to go to. And he drives off in this fancy ass car. It, it actually was like a little race car. No idea where the fuck he got that from. He was also talking IBS. about how. He was also talking about how like the planes. There was some, there was apparently some uh, drug money going around, so all the aircrafts were being taken down. Nobody can leave the state. Well, maybe he knows something we don't. He's trying to make some moves that we can't yet. I have no idea, but given how crazy that motherfucker is, I wouldn't want to be in the uh, bad side of that. Uh, I mean, she gets real, man. But I am going to say I do want to uh, take this opportunity to drive out with you because 
last night when I checked to make sure, because Seth in there, Seth's a little, Seth's a little uh, suburban boy, he, he don't know nothing about that hood shit, right, so he gets a little freaked out, there hasn't been any crime rates, any like crimes here for like the past 30 years, but yesterday I saw an armored police vehicle driving around, right, and I'm like, damn, that's awfully convenient that I just drove by this house. I told him there was like no crime rate or like not a high crime rate here. I check on him to make sure he's still alive after all this, right? And I look at his phone because he's asleep. He left his phone, he left the uh, contacts open and he left the fucking uh, 911 dialed in. He called the cops on us. And so, this is why I want to take the opportunity to grab my shit and dip with you. If it is a possibility. Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm glad I brought the van. Go get what you gotta get. I already, I already put, all, put all my shit in the uh, in my van, because my van's also here, I'm pretty sure. I thought it was old enough for what I pulled up in. Hang on. Just in the van, so you're good. I'll follow. All right. We're gonna head back to uh, LS. Actually, hang on. First, we should probably pull over here for a second. So one last thing I forgot to cover. The the little cop call that he had, right? So while while he was over there snitching on us, he knows pretty much everything about us. We've been pretty open with him. So he knows our vehicles, where we live, he knows who most of us are. You haven't been you haven't been spotted yet by any police or really anything really. So, I'd say you're fine to stay in the house, but I do need some, like, if you could loan me some money for, like, maybe a different car, some parts for some old car, or, like, just, like, a place to that's live cool. in. Bro, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Just, uh, this van, uh, I'll get rid of this one, because they're pretty much the same, and, uh, I got a car, and I think a bike at home. And you could just stay on my couch and we'll figure it out. Don't worry about it, bro. I don't have any cash, but we'll figure it out. Right. Uh, just go drop your stuff off. And we'll ditch the van. I could also, um, actually, because I have I have a old uh, Futo in the in the garage back there, and it's only missing like I don't even know what is missing. Actually, I already fucking forgot. But I know I know it can still drive. It's just not as fast as it used to be. But it's still drivable. So you think I should just move all my stuff over to that uh, car? Uh, because that one hasn't nah. been involved in any crimes. Uh, do, you could do that. Uh, yeah, you could do that. You can meet right. me uh at my address. All right then.
be still here. Yo, what's good, bro? What's good, bro? Hey, what's up? Shh, be quiet. We're gonna make sure stuff doesn't hear us on our way out. Alright, I'm not gonna take you too far away, but I do need to uh, talk. Yo, what's good? Seen, uh, no, I seen Why? Well, I don't know if you remember hearing the sirens and that you weren't outside uh, when it happened. But, uh, an armored police vehicle rolled by uh, the house. And as you might know, you might not know, uh, over here in Del Perro, there hasn't been any like, sort of crimes or anything in like, the past 30 years. And so for something that bad to happen, where they need armored police vehicles, is very weird to suddenly happen. Right? Yeah, it does sound pretty weird. And so, when I went back inside, when Seth fell asleep, I was making sure he, I was making sure he wasn't dead. But I saw that he left his phone open. So I went over, I was being a little nosy. Whenever I looked, he left his contacts open. And it looked like he had dialed 911 at one point when he was showing up or driving over there with, uh, with me. Bro, oh, what the hell? You're joking, right? I'm not. Bro, oh, there's no way. Seth's gonna do that. <laughs> Bro, so what you gonna do? Well, I can't necessarily do anything to him, but I'm just trying to keep away from him. And since me, you, and Lupe were the only three really identified during the shootings, that leaves two people missing in that um, in that whole like predicament, which would be Jack and Seth. And you and Seth haven't met Jack, but Jack's the one who got me a place to a place to stay and he's all good, right? So just because, you know, I've been very open with Seth. We've all been very open with Seth. He knows all of the places that we live. He knows our vehicles. He knows who we are, our whole identity, all that shit. And so since Jack wasn't seen anywhere, he was able to actually get himself a little place with some extra, with some extra like leftover cash he had, and he's letting us stay there now, just for a little bit, because the cops are most likely to be showing up at our, uh, at our old house. <sighs> Damn. But, uh, yeah, I was just coming back because earlier this morning I left and 
had a quick conversation with uh, with Jag. And so I got my stuff moved over there. I actually got this old car out. It just needs a few new parts, which is why I didn't drive it before. The van was ditched. I actually forgot where I ditched it, but it is ditched somewhere. And so all that's left is you grabbing your shit, putting it in the car, and uh, going over to our new place. What damn, we leaving stuff? That's what he wanted, anyways. All right, bro. I also wouldn't put it past um, wouldn't put it past him to uh, join law enforcement here instead of taking my idea and leaving the state after all this shit. Damn, I didn't really think they would do it. Yeah, that happened. Also, um, I haven't seen Lupe around. Have you seen Lupe around? Uh, no, not really. I haven't seen Lupe around since you know, that day. Because <clears throat> I guess I'll actually I'll explain that shit later. We just gotta get out of here, though. And just make sure um, if Seth is sleeping, you don't wake him up. All right. Yeah, I got you. We're just there to get your stuff out, get to the new house, and stay away. I would also recommend getting a new phone. Alright. Alright. Right. Long ass trip. Look at this guy in front of us. No idea. Keep walking. I thought, huh? <laughs> All right. So let's so see. Huh, say that again. We're almost there. It's actually right here. It's not right. Oh, shit. Welcome to Jack's place. Oh, Jack got a nice pad. Side, no different than the uh, trap house. Obviously, the trap house. I'm sure he'll be all right with uh with me bringing you here, but I also don't think he wants this place to be too crowded, so. Either Lupe stays out or he breaks in and does some fucking shit. But I mean, we we fit more into a place like this before. <coughs> yeah. That shit kinda good. What the fuck? Huh, let me take him out here real quick. Alright. Why don't you get to that? You have this coach. Oh, this one over here. Just um, wait for Jack to get home, and then 
I'll explain a little bit more of the situation to him and see how he thinks about it. Alright. 